Dates here. We've woken up, had a bit of a sleep in. Events don't start until 12:30 today, so we got a bit of time. And there was one thing yesterday that just didn't go very well for me, which was the ping pong tournament, which is total, honestly, just totally bullshit. So we're gonna run that back. I need my first win today. We'll carry that momentum through to the actual events. But we're just gonna hang out, eat food, play ping pong, and then head over to the venue, which Saturday at the Arnold is absolute mania. So hopefully it's back to its full capacity and people are uh, like canned sardines. Uh, but wish me luck, pop in the comments. By now you know how I've done. So either send your condolences or send your congratulations, hopefully. Uh, and we'll see how it goes, but uh, I'll just keep trying to have fun. How does the pressure going into day two of this Arnold compared to day two of last Arnold? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's that different. Last year I probably felt it a bit more where the chance of never winning one exists. Now that chance doesn't exist. Um, so it's more like a personal pride pressure than it is a um, have to accomplish this pressure. But, you know, I think when you're in the lead, it's a bit of a catch-22 because you've got one side where now you've got the pressure of winning that you wouldn't have if you didn't do well on the first day. But you've got the flip side where you've put in some really good performances already. So if today didn't go as well, you still have a few things to hang your hat on and then a few things to learn from. daughter at home. Um, when I left, I told my wife I'm not coming to come in second. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's event number three done. Perfect. I set the new world record in the Denny Somewhat, replica Denny Somewhat at 41 feet, six feet clear of anyone else. Unfortunately, second place is Thor, so he's staying right there. That means that we're tied going into Axel. We've got Axel, we've got Stone. I definitely have the edge in Axel. He probably has the edge in Stone because he's done it before, but it's gonna turn into a hell of a finish. And uh, I think you guys are in for a treat. And in the end, that's what we all want. We want to compete against people at their best. We've had some of Thor's best results. Like his deadlift was looking as strong as ever. That was his best frame ever. We talk about Thor in 2018, Thor in 2024, he doesn't seem far off, so I'm I'm impressed as hell with him. I just have to keep doing my thing, and uh, we'll see how it all shakes out. This man has 
performance like watching that as a spectator? Uh, it's a really interesting event, one of my favorite and uh, to watch uh, Axel lift is always enjoyable and uh, the guys did really good performance. Uh, two guys looked at four reps and uh, Cooper looked at five reps. It's incredible, very good technique and uh, good stamina for this event. He's, he did amazing. Event four over and done with. Third event win in a row. Second world record in a row. We're on a heater. I've got a few points clear of Thor for event number five. And strongman though, nothing is safe. Um, I was able to pick up the tombstone with just chalk, but it's a bit of a finicky one. He's done it before, I haven't. It's basically going to come down to that. How well can we do there? And they've done this event individually before, and loads of guys have failed the tombstone by itself. Now we have a stone press, stone load, and then tombstone. So it's going to be a, an absolute feat to even get one on that tombstone. Never mind more than one. So uh, I have the benefit of going last. He'll put the mark out. I've got the opportunity to win the show. And um, nonetheless, I think I'll put in a pretty dominant performance in the stat, most stacked field of all time.
say Mitch you're a, a freak of nature dude super proud of you you perform time and time again it was cool seeing half floor back and, and pushing you but you're awesome and I, I love you dude and can't wait to see the rest of the year Last event done and dusted. A little bit strange in how it turned out. That stone press turned out to be the Achilles heel for a lot of people. I pulled away. I think I won by 11 and a half points. Uh, extremely lucky. We're going to spend some time here at the booth. Reminder, free US shipping right now. So make sure you get your hands on some. Only going to last for the next two days while we're in Columbus. I'm going to say hello to this line of people who want to meet me. Um, yeah, beyond lucky, beyond grateful. As always, let's have me be kind. We'll catch you next video.